Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Today is currently Japan time, November the 27th, 12 p.m. noon. That means it is currently November 26th, 10 p.m. New York Eastern time zone. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the U.S. Very sad I cannot be home. Very sad I cannot eat my mother's uh, cooking for uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, uh, everything. Pumpkin pie. Oh my God, I miss it all. Such an important holiday. But hopefully I'll be home next year. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. As usual, guys, I want to give you a global update in terms of uh, news that's going on all around the world in a 5 to 10 minute YouTube video. For those of you new to my channel, I just started YouTube this year. Would appreciate if you subscribe going forward. As usual, guys, first start with the numbers. Let's first start with looking logically at the data uh, looking at global stock markets then go into different types of news today so looking at markets today we see uh, Dow Jones today was uh, obviously closed uh, US markets are closed looking at the uh, TSX Canada today was up 0.22% uh, in Europe we see down today 0.03% FTSE UK uh, down 0.44% DAX Germany almost no change CAC France almost no change IBEX Spain uh, down 0.74% Looking into Japan, the Nikkei is down 0.11%. Topics, uh, Japan is uh, up 0.25%. Han Seng, Hong Kong, down 0.21%. CSI, China, up 0.58%. ASX, Australia, down 0.63%. And MSCI, Asia, Emerging Markets, up 0.69%. It kind of just goes to show you guys the whole market, the whole world is not really moving right now when the U.S. goes on a big holiday. It shows how big and how important the U.S. stock market is for the global financial markets. When the U.S. is shut... That means usually global money around the world kind of doesn't move as much. The only sort of move that we saw today, I would maybe say is you know, Spain was down a little bit. Uh, FTSE UK was down a little bit. They're giving back some of the gains recently because they've gone up a lot. But I will do a, a, another video today because there's news out about the European Central Bank and stimulus. So I'll talk about that in a separate video. Looking at moving on to uh, economic news today. So this is the biggest news. I'm going to do this in a separate video. ECB, European Bank, is likely to launch more stimulus in December. Guys, this is on top of what I said that the Federal Reserve is probably going to do, right? I just talked about this yesterday. So if you're going to have a double, wham double, double boom, basically, from the Fed and the ECB, that's a big deal, maybe, for the markets, I say. So let's let's continue to monitor the news there. Otherwise, in terms of economic news today, China, uh, they, uh, China basically announced the uh, industrial profits. Profits earned by China's industrial firms rose by 0.7% year on year uh, after a 2.4% drop in the first nine months of the year. Uh, so this is a little bit better than expected. And this is obviously seen as good news. Otherwise, we see in Germany, consumer morale is the weakest in five months. Uh, dropped a five-month low of negative 6.7 heading into December from a revised negative 3.2 in the prior month and way below consensus of negative five. Uh, do note that Germany is still the biggest economy in Europe and consumer sentiment is still pretty low there. It's still pretty low in the U.S. as well, so this doesn't really surprise me. It just takes a while, I think, after you get a virus and a vaccine. All the stock markets go up, then businesses go up. At the very end, people's confidence goes up. This happened during the Lehman crash. This happened during the European crash. It's used, This is usually the uh, cycle that happens. Let's now move on to coronavirus news and what's going on in the world here. Uh, in terms of an update for daily new number of cases for coronavirus, let's look at the world here. We see for uh, November 26th that was reported yesterday was 540,802 daily new cases. Looking at daily new number of deaths, we see it was reported on the 26th at 10,953. This one is daily new number of deaths is still quite high here uh, relative to history and then looking at per country here we can see that the u.s is still the highest at around well it's actually a lot lower today 108,000 cases this is actually a big drop i wonder if this is almost correct i have to look at this 108,000 cases uh, uh, i think this is incorrect here because it says here 181,000 uh, cases so i think that this data set's incorrect but nonetheless we'll see tomorrow if it was correct or not india uh, reported 43,000 cases brazil was 37,000 and in italy russia germany uk poland ukraine iran you would see anywhere between 13,000 to 30,000 here um Let's continue to monitor. The, uh, the, let's continue to monitor the equation in uh, sorry situation in Europe. I'd say UK is starting to stabilize a bit, so that's good news. Uh, let's continue to see if it's going to go in the direction of France. France is really stabilized. France is around thirty-five thousand at one point, so that's good news as well. Let's move on to other types of political news and business news today, because there's actually a lot that came out today. In terms of political news, probably the most important is you know Donald Trump. He had an interview with the U.S. military, and one of the uh, speakers or one of the reporters asked basically if 
he would leave office uh, and he said yes uh, you know if the electoral co- electoral college votes Biden then he will leave office no guys the US election uh, he's not a uh, Biden is not formally named president until the electoral college which they are actually sworn by duty to vote as per the state's request as per the state's legislature which is as per the votes that everybody puts in so uh it should be confirmed that biden is elected uh however it's not formally done yet until the electoral college proceeds with this which i believe is on november uh, sorry i believe this is uh december 8th or so so uh i think that's probably the judgment day in which we'll see if whether he actually leaves the white house or not uh other types of news today we see China braces for more defaults among state firms in 2021. That could be a good thing. Several state Chinese linked entities. I talked about this in a separate video, guys. Yongcheng Coal and Electricity, Chipmaker Chengjua, and Huachen Automotive Group. The string of defaults would include highly rated entities have challenged investors' assumption of an implicit guarantee that Chinese authorities would save those that run into trouble. Please see my uh, previous video on this. Very important. China is allowing more defaults right now. I actually don't think it's a big deal. I think all the news about China going bankrupt and blah, 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 blah. I think it's kind of bogus. I mean, state state owned entities typically right now, typically they've had 0% default rate and this year it's at 0.5%. So it's still so tiny. This is not a major risk to the markets at all, I think. Uh, looking at other types of news here, we see AstraZeneca eyes extra global vaccine trials, questions mount. Additional tests shouldn't delay regulatory approvals, but uh, they need some different efficacy readouts. Again, we talked about this before. AstraZeneca, they did two different, I uh, re- released two different sets of data. One set was saying that I think uh, when, you know, the first dose is a full dose and no, first dose is a half dose. Dose, second dose was a full dose and that was like a 90 percent efficacy efficiency rate and then the second trial noted that they did a full dose both times and that was only 62 percent efficacy so that i think gives a lot of people questions also note that astrazeneca uh this uh vaccine had a lot of different safety concerns so there's going to be more different trials going forward on this um I, otherwise we're seeing you know more and more news about bitcoin studies after the biggest slump after meltdown right now that's back up to around 17,400. i think it went as low as 16,227 at one point um i covered my shorts because i shorted uh, yesterday you can see my video i shorted right around 18,100, and then i put in a pretty tight stop and it kept going and going 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 down and the stop also went down together with it so when it went down to around 16,200, my stop was around 17,200, and then i got stopped out so so I made about, well, about a thousand, a thousand dollars on this. Well, not a thousand dollars, but uh, so r- roughly, you know, I shorted around 18,000 and I covered around uh, 17,200 or so. So I'll give you guys an update on a separate video. That's really it for news, guys. Uh, in terms of other videos and other updates, uh, I got a lot of different requests and a lot of different questions regarding uh, India right now. So I'll do a separate video on India. I'm really happy that a lot of people are interested in India. So I'll do a separate video on that. Um, asking about energy stocks and whether uh, the price is going to go back to before coronavirus. Uh, probably, maybe. I think it's completely possible. Um, I also think that's interesting. A lot of these transportation stocks, I still think, are undervalued in Japan. So I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, although, otherwise, lots of questions about Bitcoin. Guys, see my Twitter. I posted on this, but there's probably new regulation coming about, uh, you know, cryptocurrencies overall from the U.S. Treasury Department. Maybe as early as December, that uh, U.S. citizens will be uh, deemed necessary to report their all of their cryptocurrency assets across the world, according to new financial regulations so that's probably what's hitting prices at the moment so guys that's the biggest news of the day uh look forward to my other videos today hopefully you enjoy the content today if you did please press the like button below and please subscribe to my channel going forward thanks guys i appreciate it thanks